What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am showing you all what I get up to in a morning routine being a stay-at-home working mum. That is a little bit of a mouthful but I wanted to take you along the ride to show you what I get up to as a content creator but also as a mum of two. Okay, let's just say that not each morning looks like the morning that I'm about to show you but we'll get the gist of what a morning can look like in my household so first things first I always put my glasses on because my eyes take a long time to adjust in the morning and I know this is a bad habit grabbing your phone first thing in the morning but it's a habit I apparently can't break so I will always check Instagram TikTok, the Facebook just everything and if everything is boring well we'll put it down and we'll continue our day i don't know if anyone else likes this but i love to watch the sun rise i also love to watch it set but watching the sun rise first thing in the morning just makes me have a great beginning to my day it's probably not much sooner after waking up myself that the boys are both awake unfortunately i both have morning risers who literally wake up as soon as they see the sun rise um, they're just like their mummy because mummy does it too so they follow mummy's footsteps which I am very thankful for that I also don't have kids that sleep in until eight nine o'clock in the morning and struggle to get out of the door when I need to get out of the door early but I also miss kind of having some little time to myself in the morning but mornings seem to look like this for us. We always sit down as a family and have a little play on the floor or I just let the boys play together while I get my cup of tea or even get breakfast ready for all of us. And now that Theodore is on the move and getting into literally everything possible, it is a little bit more fun for Frederick to play with him because he's just not... Um, settle down to one area so if I'm in the kitchen the boys are probably close by so this morning on request Frederick had asked for pancakes for breakfast so of course I'm going to get what he wants because pancakes are something that we don't normally have in our household or it's just a very rare thing that we make these days now so of course I was going to make him pancakes so my pancake recipe is super easy I just use oats almond milk and banana and that is my recipe So on to the rest of breakfast. So I'm just finishing off making breakfast for me and the boys. I actually am probably already given Theodore his breakfast because he tends to eat first because one, he takes the longest and two, I like things to cool down a lot faster for him. So that is why he tends to eat first before anybody else. But we are just going to all sit down at the table and have a little family breakfast. After breakfast is a time where I either sit down at my computer and do a little bit of work, or it's a time where I start getting ready for the day because it's going to probably be a day where I'm in front of the camera. So because I'm in front of the camera today and I'm wanting to take some photos and film a little bit later in the day when Theodore is having another nap, I am putting on a little bit of makeup. So all I'm doing this morning is doing my brows, a little bit of foundation, a little bit of highlighter, and I'm just putting on some mascara. I seem to keep it as simple as I possibly can these days. One, because of my age. 
and I don't want so much product on my skin but also because I just don't have enough time to spend two hours on my face like I used to before kids it's just impossible and it just wastes too much time in my precious valuable day So after all my makeup is done, we are heading over to my wardrobe to go find a fit, as they call it these days, for the day. So I bought this new dress from Cotton On only a couple of days ago, and I really wanted to get a photo in it for Instagram. So I decided to put it on today, even though it was wrinkled and it really needed an iron but I'm just too lazy to grab the iron out and iron it who is with me I swear we're all like this and we just do not iron our clothes these days I don't even remember the last time I peeled my iron out to iron a piece of clothing and of course it is time to make my bedroom or my house seem a little bit tidier so every single morning I like to make my bed it's just something that I love to do if you're not someone who makes their bed every single morning start doing it and and you will see the immediate improvement in your mood in your productivity and just feeling good about walking into your bedroom seeing your bed made after getting ready and getting myself ready it is time to get the boys ready so of course I picked out Theodore's clothes and helped him get dressed I also picked up Frederick's clothes he tends to do it a lot himself these days he's a very independent four-year-old but he did dress himself because let's say he is independent he likes to do these things all by himself but fun fact the cardigan that he is putting on his body right now was actually Jason's when he was three it is 27 years old and my four-year-old is now wearing it and I freaking love that he has something that is sentimental to his father a little while after the boys have got ready and we've played for a little bit I did put Theodore down for his first nap and this is the time where Frederick gets to watch a tiny little bit of TV in the morning while I am replying to emails and just checking some things up on YouTube so this morning was an email morning I had quite a few emails come through overnight that I needed to reply to I have some very exciting collaborations coming up soon and I'm so excited for you to all find them out soon And the last thing that I'm doing on my computer for the morning is just checking over my YouTube, checking my analytics, seeing how my video went overnight and also just replying to all the comments that I haven't replied to yet. And last but not least, it's time to move over to the last couple of things that I like to do in the morning and that is posting something on the gram. So this morning I was posting a little short story on the gram just telling you all what I'm up to, what I'm filming and also just doing an outfit post for my stories because I am obviously wearing a new dress and I wanted to share with you all what I was wearing for the day. And like I said earlier, I wanted to post a photo um, of me in this dress so I decided to take a little selfie in the mirror here and just take a little quick outfit of the day photo I actually haven't posted it yet so this is a little reminder to myself to post this photo because I really like this photo but I just wanted to quickly show you how I edit my photos so I use a program called Lightroom you probably heard it it is very popular I tend to use presets 
that's on my photos to edit my photos and I am using one of my own. So this is just a preset that one I haven't released which if you don't know I do have presets that you can purchase. I will leave the links in the description box if it is something that you're interested in but this is just not a preset that I have released just yet. I will always save my photos onto my phone and then move over to another app where I can upload the photos to this little fake feed for my Instagram story and just place the photos that I've taken that I've edited that I want to go up onto my Instagram feed in a way that I can preview how my feed will look with the photos that will be placed in certain areas. It's a really good app. I really love it if you're into having a very nice eye pleasing or catching a feed. This is definitely an app that you should have. And just like that, that is my morning routine. I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I get up to as a work from home mum. I actually really enjoy working from home. It's always something that I've wanted to do as a mum and I can finally say that it is becoming something that I can actually do while making an income, which makes me very happy. So I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for helping me to succeed here in my career at home. I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you, because honestly, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. I would be working for somebody else instead of myself. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I get up to on a work morning and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.